this morning's report, we had 58 in-house, uh, two weekenders, 12 transfers, three out on electronic monitoring, 13 free trial release, total population of 88. Uh, took in 19 inmates last week, 13 were repeaters, and 17 were released. The repeater charges, one came in for simple assault, booked six times in 14 years, one for criminal mischief, criminal threatening, and simple assault, booked two times in seven years, one for burglary, booked two times in two years, one for breach of bail and a capius, booked nine times in 12 years, one for criminal threatening times two, booked seven times in 18 years, one for driving under the influence in protective custody, booked two times in two years, one for uh, driving under the influence, breach of bail times two and operating after suspension, booked two times in two years, one for acts prohibited in transportation of alcohol, booked two times in two years, one for driving under the influence, acts prohibited in transportation of alcohol, booked seven times in 19 years, one for violation of probation, booked two times in six years, one for issuing bad checks, booked three times in three years, one for an electronic bench warrant, times two, uh, booked three times in three years, one for criminal threatening, booked 19 times in 11 years. Um, at our superintendent's affiliate meeting this past Friday, uh, you may or you may not know um, some of the, the bills that were um, is that expedient to legislate. Uh, those bills were the study to privatize county corrections, uh, the bill to give the authority to the superintendent. I'm sorry, we have the first one. Privatize county corrections. There was what a. Is, is going to be moving on? Uh, expedient to legislate is, I, my understanding, it's been. Um, Placed on file. Yeah, inexpedient. Uh, inexpedient. Oh, inexpedient. inexpedient. I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, terms I'm not too familiar with. Yeah. <laughs> um, so another one would be um, provide authority to the superintendent to place uh, sentenced offenders out on electronic monitoring without a court order. Uh, which, which way did that go? Inexpedient. Inexpedient to legislate. Yes. All these that I'm going to mention okay. in the same status. Uh, the bill removing the Hampshire Association of Counties as a certifying authority uh, for county corrections officers. Um, and apparently there's a bill being uh, looked at at this point uh, to remove 17-year-old offenders from the adult criminal justice system. Um, I'm under the understanding that that's not moving anywhere, uh, but it's being reviewed. Uh, and then there is a bill that recently passed um, that would allow public officials in their performance of their duties to be audio and video <coughs> recorded anywhere that the public has a reasonable expectation to be. Mm -hmm. um, at our affiliate meeting, um, we also discussed uh, a growing issue with um, bath salts. Are you familiar with that? Yes. Uh, apparently three correction facilities in the state have had some um, pretty serious incidences with these. Um, and uh, Superintendent White was at a uh, meeting in Portland <coughs> where a DEA representative did a presentation. Uh, he's going to schedule that same agent to come over and do a presentation to our affiliate as well. Um, this past Friday at our certification board meeting, we had four officers um, be certified under the New Hampshire Association of Counties, uh, so they now certified officers. We're going to be running three Corrections Academies this year, uh, one starting in March, another one starting in May, and the final one in October. Uh, we have seven uncertified officers at this point, and we're going to be scheduling them to attend those academies. Uh, one of the things that I'd like to, to, to present would be, uh, because we've had some issues with uh, people approaching the perimeter and things of that nature, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Cheshire County has had um, these signs made by the New Hampshire State Prison Sign Shop. So I'd like to um, look at possibly doing the same, if I could have you mm -hmm. folks review those and just um, at some future date give me a, a yay or nay. Um, that's one of the things that they did to, um, although they don't have a fenced in perimeter, this is some signage that they used to um, post around their property. Um, then, based on the, uh, we have a what the webinar schedule for later today from the NIC. Um, that's going to be starting at two o'clock this afternoon. Um, one of the things I we had a meeting yesterday, and we're looking to establish a criminal justice coordinating committee. Uh, and the first meeting is going to be scheduled for April seventeenth. 
Um, so I'd like to see if we can have <coughs> at least one member from the commissioners to, to sit on as April part of that 14. board. Did hmm? you say April 14th? April 17th. Oh, 17th. And that meeting would start at uh, 1 o'clock. Um, regarding the fence, I had a discussion with uh, Kathy downstairs and that never went out to the uh, RFP. So we're going to work on that this week and hopefully get that out by the end of this week so we can we can move on that. And then on Friday, we did a uh, administrative transfer uh, to another county for a, a housing matter. And that's all you I need have. approval on that. I'm sorry, sir. You need approval on that? Uh, on this one, because it's a county corrections facility, I don't. It's, don't. it's within the Strictly authority. going to the state. Correct. Okay. okay. Um, anybody got any questions? No, I Any questions, yeah. Jason? Okay. Um, Okay. Anything okay. further? No, sir. All right. Thank you. Thank you.